This is Aaron, this is 3D Studio Max 2016, and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to properly set up your projects folder for all your files in 3D Studio Max, as well as making sure you save the right information in the, in the correct area for the file structure. Alright, so here we are in 3D Studio Max, it's opened up here, and you'll see this button in the top left hand corner right next to workspace default. If you click on this button right here, it's going to say browse per folder and you're going to select your projects folder. This is important because when you open up and start up 3D Studio Max for the first time, it's going to want to set up all your folders and all the information that's going to be in one spot. So if everything's in one spot, should you move to another computer in your network or you decide to change jobs and you want to take everything with you, you can just grab that folder, put it to an external hard drive, and take it with you on the fly, and all your files will be there in one spot. It's a very convenient way to keep all your stuff together, not lose it, and know where everything is located uh, should you need to, to access it. So here's how you do that. Here we are, and you'll see here, in this case, we it defaults to setting it up onto the, uh, the, the user's folder. In this case, this is me, and it will default to my desktop and it'll go to 3D Studio Max folder. That's where its default setup is when you install 3D Studio Max. Now what we want to do is we want to move that folder and set up a new folder on your network drive. And in this case, my network drive is right here. And if I open up my network drive, and I'm going to select or create a new folder, make a new folder, and let's just say, let's call this new folder uh, test555. Uh, five, 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 oh, five, five, five. Okay. So I'm going to hit test 555 and I'm going to select OK for that. Once I select test 555 and I minimize this, you will see that in my network drive under test 555, 3D Studio Max has created a whole bunch of assets and a whole bunch of new folders that are structured here. One folder that I think is missing here is an images folder. So what I would suggest to you doing is to go into new folder and creating images folder. This way, when you go searching for textures and images and things like that online, you can plug them in here. Now, if you happen to move or change jobs or go to a different computer, all your files for 3D Studio Max are now within this test 555 folder or whatever you called it prior to. This is a great way to keep everything organized and it's one of the first things that I highly recommend you setting up when running 3D Studio Max for the very first time. Good luck and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.